Hi guys. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you about the alternating series test. So we'll talk about the three conditions for it, and um, we'll look at the pre-class questions, and then we'll do an example, and after that, hopefully, you'll be ready to go. So, um, the alternating series test applies to uh, alternating series. <laughs> uh, so given series of the form negative 1 times 2 to the k times a sub k, or negative 1 to the k plus 1 times a sub k, where the following conditions hold true. The first condition is that my terms that I'm separating out, a sub k, they're positive. a sub k is greater than 0. That's the first condition to the alternating series test. So we're separating the alteration of the sign from the um, rest of the sequence. And then my second condition is that my sequence of terms is decreasing. And finally, that the limit as k goes to infinity of a sub k is equal to zero. If these three conditions hold true, that means that my alternating series um, converges. Then the series converges. So naturally, if um, the limit of a sub k's as k goes to infinity is not equal to zero, my series diverges. And when I say that, it's actually diverging by the divergence test. By the divergence test. Because we're looking at the end behavior of my sequence. So if the limit of a sub k is not equal to zero, that means that if I take the limit of negative 1 to the power of k times a sub k, this will not be equal to zero as well. And so this strictly diverges. And if the sequence diverges, I do not have to check to make sure that my terms are positive and that they're decreasing because I'm not actually applying the alternating series test. At that point, I'm applying the divergence test. Um, so a sub k does not have to be positive or decreasing here if the series diverges. Okay, so um, let's draw a quick graphic of what's happening. So on one axis I have k, on the other I have negative 1 to the power of k times a sub k, so I have this alteration of the sign. And if my series converges, that means that I will start off farther away from um, my from the limit of the sequence, but then because my a sub k's are decreasing, they're going to get closer and closer together to that um, to that value for the limit of the sequence while flipping sign right because I am including the sign here um, and in that case my uh, my my series will converge. Um, if if my sequence was not decreasing, if it was just 1, then I would have negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, and so my series will, the limit of that, the limit of the partial sums will not exist. Um, so the series will not converge there. Um, so just to recap, what we have to do, we have to make sure that these conditions hold true that my series are, um, the terms are positive, that they're decreasing, and finally that the limit of uh, the sequence is equal to zero. You can imagine that if you just take the first two conditions, then 
if you if you only have positive terms and they're decreasing, it might make sense to assume that they're decreasing to zero. Um, and you might think that you don't need the third limit, but even if you're decreasing, you can still have a horizontal asymptote there and you can decrease to two or three or, or one. And so then we have this, um, the, we'll have a series that looks like negative one plus one, negative plus negative one plus negative so on. So it's not going to convert. So we do really need this um, third condition that the limit of the terms of the series go to zero as well, and the limit as k goes to infinity. Okay, so with this in mind, let's talk about the pre-class questions. So in the pre-class questions, we saw that there were three um, three series that we're alternating so we want to know if the series converge or diverge by applying the alternating series test that is our purpose and we have to make sure that those three conditions hold true if the series converges so then the first one i have negative 1 to the k times cosine of k over k as k goes from infinity from 1 to the infinity. So here, the first thing that I want to do, my a sub k's have to be greater than 0, and my a sub k's in this case are cosine of k over k. Cosine can be negative. Um, so this condition does not hold true, and because of that, the alternating series test does not apply. I would have to do um, another type of test to determine if the series converges or diverges. Um, so does um, alternating series test does not apply. Okie dokie. Um, series B, the second series, I have negative 1 to the power of k times k over k plus 1. So here I do have this alternating um, sign piece, so I want to apply the alternating series test to this. And a sub k, here is k over k plus 1. If k is positive, then this will also be positive, so that's a, a, a good to go. And then the second thing that I want to do is to see if my, my sequence is decreasing. Um, so the sequence of k over k plus 1, it's actually increasing, um, and there's a couple of ways to see that. We can plot it, um, and then we'll see it from the graph, or we can take um, the derivative of it, and then if the derivative is positive, we'll see that um, the slope is positive, so the function must be increasing. So if I take the derivative of this thing, assuming that k is continuous, then because I have a, a quotient, I'm going to do quotient rule. So I have bottom times the derivative of the top minus top times the derivative of the bottom all over bottom squared. So then this turns into 1 over k plus 1 quantity squared. So this is positive, meaning the slope is positive, so the function is increasing, but the slope is also decreasing, right, because the bottom is growing and the top is constant. So the slope is increasing, but at the decreasing pace. <laughs> um, slope is positive, but decreasing, meaning that my function is, or my, my sequence is increasing. So the second condition does not hold true. Um, we can still apply the divergence test to this. So that's the third condition. If I take the limit um, of k over k plus 1 as k goes to infinity, right, what is this going to be? This is going to be equal to 1, and so because this is not equal to 0, my series will diverge by, by the divergence test. So series diverges 
by the divergence test or AST. We could also cite that. And because of that, because it diverges, we actually don't care that the sequence is increasing instead of decreasing, right? Because we're citing an entirely different test. Okie doke. And then finally, my third series, I have cosine of pi k over k as k goes from 1 to infinity. So here it doesn't appear to be alternating, but I do know that cosine is a really nice function and since k is an integer maybe some nice things will happen with this. So I have cosine of pi k and I want to know what the sequence is. When k is equal to 1, right here, I have cosine of pi and cosine of pi is negative 1. When k is equal to 2, I have cosine of 2 pi, and cosine of 2 pi is positive 1. So my series does alternate and sine. So my actual a sub k here is 1 over k. So I'm good to apply the alternating series test. 1 over k is indeed positive, and it is also decreasing. Because the top is constant, while the bottom is increasing. So the first two conditions check out, and finally I have to do the limit of a sub k or 1 over k as k goes to infinity, which is going to be 0. So because these three conditions check out, my series converges by AST. I feel like my camera is not focusing as well as it should. Come on! Uh, okay, so series converges by AST. Awesome. So with this in mind, let us do a final example. Um, sometimes it's not obvious to see whether, um, whether the terms increase or decrease. So that would be our, um, we'll do a last example on that and then We'll be good to go with the activity. It is so weird that it's not. Never mind. Uh, okay. So here is an example. I have a series of negative 1 to the k times natural log of k over k as k goes from 2 in this case to infinity. And because I have the alternation of the sign, what I want to do here is apply. AST. Now the first thing with AST is I need to know that the terms are positive, so A sub k is greater than zero and A sub k is natural log of k over k. And natural log of k in the limit as k goes to infinity that is positive, but natural log of k starts off at negative infinity. And it's negative only for a couple of terms, it's a finite number of terms, so those terms don't actually affect the convergence of the series. So I will say that natural log of k over k is greater than zero for large k. And obviously the bottom is going to be positive. So then, um, that's the first check. The second check, what I want to do is find out if the sequence of natural log of k over k is decreasing, and I can't quite picture it off the top of my head. <laughs> um, so this is where we have to determine this based on slope. So I'm going to create a new function f of k where I'm assuming that k is now continuous. And I will take the derivative of this. So f prime of k, this will be negative if f of k is decreasing. So that's what I'm looking for. Okay, f prime of k, what is that going to be? Well, I have the quotient, so I have bottom times the derivative of the top minus top times the derivative of the bottom all over bottom squared. So I have 1 minus natural log of k over k squared. Awesome possum. The bottom will always be greater than 0. Now the top, I just want to see um, where it's negative because I'm looking for where the slope is negative. 
So 1 minus natural log of k, I want that to be negative, so I have this inequality. And then I have 1 is less than natural log of k, and then to undo the natural log on the right-hand side, I want to exponentiate. So I have e is less than k, or k is greater than e. So if k is greater than e, that means my slope is negative and my function is decreasing. So as long as um, as long as k is greater than e, and since e is 2.71, that means um, my k starts at k is equal to 3. All right, um, the function is decreasing. So these are the, the first two conditions. Condition one, condition two, and we have the last condition of the limit. So I need to take the limit as k goes to infinity of natural log of k over k. So natural log of infinity is going to infinity. The bottom is going to infinity, so I can apply L'Hopital's rule, assuming that k is continuous again. Otherwise, I would not be able to take the derivatives. And so here I have the limit of 1 over k over 1 as k goes to infinity, which turns out to be 0. So that's the third condition, that the limit of a sub k's, which are positive for the most part, <laughs> that they go to 0. And so because these three things check out, that means that my series converges using the alternating series test. So series converges by AST because these three conditions are true. So with that in mind, uh, I think we can all get started on the activity. And there's a couple of problems on the activity where you're asked about the error in truncation um, in, uh, in, in the series, and we'll get to that tomorrow. So you can skip those today for the time being. And I will see you later.